Security alert in amateur radio? Do you need to be worried? The answer might be yes. Well, 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 I did not think I would be here talking about security in amateur radio with y'all over there. But here we are. Let's go ahead and jump to the article that I'm referencing here. This article explains how a researcher was able to execute code over APRS using data and how they were able to remotely execute uh, and run something on a remote system over amateur radio. And I will put all the links in the description below, but what it boils down to is using uh, APRS data and when APRS, the researcher was able to craft packets in such a way that it overwrites the execution stack or call stack and then sends the call stack to run code elsewhere inside the data. And that is Bad. Let me go ahead and sh kind of show you how this works. In program, there's a couple of different kinds of stacks, but the ones that we're going to be talking about is your call stack and your data or your heap allocations. So when data is coming in through APRS, it's storing that information onto the heap and it's writing it here, 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 here. And then the program's executing, the, there's a bunch of pointers in the call stack that point to where the code is actually running in the program itself and it's jumping around in the file a lot and that's okay but what happened here he was able to override a buffer in such a way that it overwrote a call stack pointer and then the next jump it did to go to the next part of the executing program it jumps to your data heap which is bad this is a form of buffer overrun and remote code exploitation. I'm using some of the terms wrong. It's been a while. I got out of the security game a while. I just saw this. I was like, whoa. And what makes this a bad thing here is, ooh, ooh, new drawing time. So a attacker can craft his data once, then transmit it. And unlike phishing attacks, where it's the attacker trying to get my information, how amateur radio waves work, what happens is this ill craft data is transmitted, then goes all around and bounces off the atmosphere, then any antenna that's set up to receive these frequencies gets the ill craft data and then um, starts to execute the um, bad code, which could be anything. Or it could be, hey, go to the internet and download this now malware. Boom, pulls it from the internet and now you're running malware and then Lord knows what can happen to your machine. Should you be worried? Mm, not really right now. Let's talk about some things that are going on here. First, the program that is being used or exploited was written in 2013. And that is, oh, that's 10 years old, guys. And that was the last one time it was really updated. Um, let's use this as a canary in the coal mine. And, and um, let's be more security conscious because amateur radio is evolving more and more into digital age and more and more we're hooking these radios into our computers. And I bet we're going to start seeing some more of this stuff more and more and more. Now, should you be worried? Yeah, not really. One major factor here for this exploitation to work is it has to be running on, you ready for it? Windows XP. Who's running Windows XP still? I, I, I have a computer with Windows XP, but I would be, no, I, I take that back. It's Windows 7 and 10. I used to install a lot of um, radios and, and get some of the older programs to work while programming radios. Why doesn't this work any elsewhere? Well, because since since XP, uh, there is better memory management that uh, watches the stack and heap, and it will actually stop a program from running if it sees this type of exploitation happening. 
Linux also does this and also um, iOS. So all the iOS is also safe. But Windows XP, it's really old. And this program's really old. And let's say also WSJTX is kind of getting old there, guys. So we need to use this as a canary in a coal mine situation where we need to start becoming more security conscious aware. So this stuff doesn't happen and actually bite us and, and make it much harder for us to do things that we love and do. So I just wanted to take a moment out of my day, share this with y'all. Let's learn from this. Let's get better and let's try to update some of our programs. And um, so this doesn't happen in the future. Till next time, y'all. Go forth and conquer. <laughs>